Hi, I'm Cheryl Phillips, and this is the second block of our Stripe Sampler series. It's called the April Spinner. Let's get started. Now we're ready to start on our April block. The first thing you'll need to do is go to the website, to the products page, and download your free April pattern. This pattern has a number of pages, instructions for this block, plus several variations. Next, we'll need to prepare our squedge tool. This squedge tool is a 22.5 degree. It takes 16 pieces to make your square, and a squedge is a wedge that makes a square. How do we prepare it? We start with these adhesive rings, and we're going to take the adhesive rings, this is what they look like, peel one off, and we're going to put four on the front, and turn it over, and put four on the back, like this. Next, you'll see that on the first page of our pattern, you'll see a graphic of the squedge tool, and it has pink and yellow lines. These lines, in different colors, is what's going to make this block so easy to do. To mark those lines, I'm going to use glow tape. And what this glow tape is, is a transparent, non-adhesive tape, and I will put this directly over my 45 degree line. And I'll turn my tool over and double check that my yellow is in the same direction as the yellow on my pattern sheet. And then I'll add the pink piece, like this, again, directly over the 45 degree line. Okay, next we'll be talking about your choice of fabric. This is the first block I made for April's block, and I was a little disappointed. It just didn't do what I expected. I love the green, I love the background, but when I put it together, it just made a great big green blob. I might be able to fix this with some quilting, but let's look at why it didn't work. It didn't work because there's not enough contrast with my spinner and my background. And also, the green, although it's a delicate, interesting stripe, it just doesn't pop. Now let's look at the block that I, I chose for April's project. Much better, don't you think? The reason is because we have a good contrast between the rainbow stripe and the background. And the rainbow stripe has a lot of interest. So you see the yellow spin, the red spin, and the various colors. And it really pops off the background. Let's take a look at that rainbow fabric. If we focus on the two yellow stripes, you can see that the distance between here is about three inches. But my pattern calls for four and three-fourths. What am I going to do? I will have to cut two repeats rather than one for my strip. And where do I cut? Well, I know that I want my yellow to be the color next to the black background. And I don't want to sew into that yellow. I want the break between the yellow and green stripe to be right on my seam line. So what I will do, one layer at a time, is place my ruler so that my quarter of an inch extends into the green and the quarter inch line is right on the break of the stripe. Then I cut one layer at a time right through there and I will get my strip that I needed for my strip set. Now let's see how we sew that. This is my strip set that I've sewn to the black. When I sew it, I always put the stripe on top. And yes, I've cut it at a quarter of an inch, but I'm not going to trust my presser foot. Instead, I'm going to trust my eye. I'm going to stitch relatively slowly, and I'm going to stitch right along where the break is between the yellow and the green, right on that line. I know it's rather hard on the camera to see because uh, my stitches are right there along the break in that line. The next thing we're going to do is sew our background strips to those striped strips. We get those sewn together, but before we're ready to cut, here's a, an important step. In your instructions, you have labels. Make use of these. They're color coordinated, and you'll want to pin one to each of your strip sets to keep everything straight. Now we have strip set one. 
and we're ready to cut our squedge. If we look at our label, it says use the yellow 45 degree line with the words facing up. So I'm going to use the yellow line and I make sure that my squedge words I can read and I'm going to place it on here and cut all around it and this is the piece I'll get. I'll cut four of these. Next, I go to strip set two. I read my label. It says the yellow 45 degree and facing up. So I place this on here like this. You'll notice that my tool extends beyond the black. That's okay because this is one of the shorter pieces. This is strip set three. If we look at our label, it's a pink label because we're going to use the pink 45 degree line and we're going to have the words facing down. So we'll flip it so that the words are facing down. We'll use the pink line. And you can see through that pink line the blue. And you might think you can come over here. Actually, you can push it all the way off because we're going to cut to the slot. And again, first thing we do is mark that with our pencil and cut around, rotate. Now we're going to cut on the other side, remove our tool, and again, see the two pink little lines? Use our squedge as our straight edge. Make sure you're not cutting off the pink line and cut that scrap. And here is our other partial squedge. This is our fourth strip set. For this one, we're going to again use the pink 45 degree line with the words down. And we'll come over here, place those down. We're going to cut the entire tool this time. And I have one cut for you, which is here. Now let's see how these look together. Here are four pieces that we've just cut. And you lay them out, and you can see that when you push them together, there's one fourth of our block. I have several parts of the block that are already sewn. So let's put these out here. And here, and I have one that's sewn. And then we'll sew the four quarters together. And then in our center, We'll put on freezer paper, and I have an applique that I'll put in the center. Now, I chose to use a completely different fabric, but one that pulled together the rainbow look on black background. Let's see the finished block. Here's that finished block. Looking at my April block, I'm thinking I might just continue to make this one block over and over rather than doing a sampler with a rainbow. I think my 12-year-old grandson would just love this one. Next, I tried this blue and gold stripe. And I love the way that spins. Got, it has a real nautical look to it. I took my square and added quarter square triangles to make it like a square and a square. And I thought, wouldn't it look neat if you continued with this block or, or a sampler block? Because where the stripes come together, you're going to have a secondary design, and that might really be neat. And then I took the same fabric and reversed the colors. And what did I end up with? The stuff that I showed you in the beginning. But I think this one might be salvaged by putting some um, yellow quilting that kind of swirls. Now I'm making two striped samplers um, in the wavy fabric that I started with in March. And so I made a spinner with a wavy, and I think that's really cool. And then I decided to reverse my colors, but I learned from that blue and that green mistake. And so rather than a blob of green, you can see that I alternated the red and green to give that a pinwheel spinner look. And I was real pleased with that. And I took the scraps from last month's block where I used the vertical stripe I didn't have enough, and sometimes that's the best thing, is making use of those leftovers. So instead, I alternated a solid squidge in between my pieces. And isn't that a neat little pinwheel? Both of these variations are included in your pattern. Have you had fun making this April block? Boy, I sure have. And looking at stripes, 
oh my goodness, they do all the work for you. So I've been checking out stripes on the internet and going to stores and looking at things totally different. In fact, I looked at a lady's shirt the other day thinking, oh, that would make a really interesting block. So you've got to watch yourself. But I do hope you're having a good time with the stripe sampler. Please come back and see us in May. Uh, we have another surprise for you. Thank you and God bless.